Well, hi there, this is Scott Duffy from GetCloudSkills.com. And in this video, I wanna talk about some recent changes that have been announced to the DP900 Microsoft Azure Data Fundamentals exam. Now, every once in a while, Microsoft does announce changes to this exam. They recently just announced changes as of February 1st, 2024. So in this video, we're gonna look at the changes side by side, and then we can see what exactly has changed on this exam and whether you need to change your study process if you're planning on taking the exam in February or beyond. The way that I do this is I go into the DP900 study guide link here on the landing page. And under the study guide, it's gonna have what's called a change log. Now the change log is gonna tell us what to expect when it comes to changes. When I look down the list here, we can see that there's only a few minor changes. Relational Azure Data Services has a minor change. The Large Scale Analytics has a minor change and the Real-Time Data Analytics has a minor change. So let's look at this side by side for those three sections and see what has changed. All right, so we know that this exam is changing as of February 1st, 2024. I have the prior to changes on the left and the as of changes on the right. We can see that the wording of the audience profile has changed a little bit, but the good news is the percentages in terms of the four major objectives remain the same. So if we recall that the three changes we're looking at are relational Azure data services, this one. So let's scroll down to the before and after. Oh, I guess it was a typo where there was an, an objective, but it was just a line break, right? So this has been fixed. So a SQL database, SQL managed instance, and SQL server on Azure VMs is now one objective instead of two. So this is really cosmetic in terms of the formatting of this document. The next one was large scale analytics. So we go down to this one, go into here, and we can see at a glance, <clears throat> the first two objectives are the same. And then the last objective has a Synapse Analytics, Databricks, HD Insight. It now has this Microsoft Fabric as a new service that needs to be covered by large scale analytics. So one new feature on this exam. The next one has to do with real-time analytics, which is the next one down. And we can see that the difference between batch and streaming is still there, but this second objective has been simplified. So on the before, it's talking about stream analytics, data, uh, Synapse Data Explorer and Spark structured streaming. But this one just generalizes it and says, identify cloud services for real-time analytics. So they've really just simplified the requirement. Anyways, those are the changes for the DP900 exam. As you can see, extremely, extremely minor. We do have a new service to cover. I'm gonna to have to look to see if there's other real-time data analytics that were not previously listed. Uh, presumably this is why Microsoft has generalized this so that other things can be tested. But the main change here is Microsoft Fabric. Now I do wanna say happy new year. I'm recording this on January 1st of 2024. And so it's a brand new year. I hope 2024 is an amazing year for you. Keep an eye out for changes to this exam as of February 1st, 2024. If you're studying for that, that we're going to have to add that additional thing. Now I do have a course on DP900. I will be adding a video for the Microsoft Fabric topic. So if you're interested in taking your DP900, data services exam with Microsoft, go check out my course on Udemy and look for DP900 and you'll find my course there. Thanks a lot for being here. I do wish you an amazing 2024 and thanks for following these videos and talk to you again.